Okay. Um, for this uh, this uh, humanoid robot, we have here we have a three D camera module here to look forward to detect the, the environment, and uh, there are three fish eye cameras to um, detect surrounding environment, and then it can build up a three D model of the environment to navigate. And here is another three D camera modules. It can detect. The working space. So this is looking in front for obstacles. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it can detect the object, object, and uh, navigate the hand to grab and uh, sorting the, the the components. Okay. And for communicating later, we will have four um, microphones array here, and uh, inside we have two speakers, so it it can communicate with people. Okay. Yeah. And currently we are focused in industrial application like working in the in the factory, um, like for example like uh, in the automatic production lines mm -hmm. to assist. Even we have robot arms to do some simple repeat work, but we still need human to assist. Yeah. So this kind of humanoid robot can assist like that. So and show me show me the hands and talk about the degrees of freedom with the hands. Um every hand we have six Three, uh, six degrees of freedom. Okay. So it can like go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Yes. And the and the wrist you're using linear actuators. For yeah. The, yes. Yeah. With uh, this linear actuator, we are we designed by ourselves. It's uh, called um, roller screw actuator. Okay. Yes, and it's like our muscle yeah. can control our gesture. How many? How many of those linear actuators do you have? Um, the, the linear actuator there are six, uh, fourteen, fourteen uh, actuator, linear actuator, and the fourteen uh, rotary actuator. Okay. Yeah. And the total include the hand. There are forty, uh, forty uh, degrees. degrees of freedom. Great. Yes. Interesting. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. All right. Yeah.